Before operating the travel pedal, first choose your direction. This is done using the switch located at the front of the right hand joystick. You can choose between forward, neutral, and reverse. After choosing the direction, press the right hand travel pedal with your foot. Smoothly start to press down the pedal. With this pedal, you can proportionally steer the travel speed and you have 100% control. You should always use this pedal when moving the excavator. The pedal located between the travel pedal and the steering column is the brake pedal. Press this pedal down to activate all wheel brakes. This pedal also functions proportionally. Before going out onto a public highway, it is very important to align the superstructure with the undercarriage. Always carry out this procedure, otherwise you could be a safety risk. Slew the digging equipment in a forward direction and position it for transport. If your machine is equipped with a two-piece boom, it should be pulled back as far as possible. Choose the T mode for travelling before starting the alignment. Slew very smoothly to find the alignment position. Located on the superstructure is a sensor. When this sensor passes the alignment bar, the slewing circuit will automatically cut out. The superstructure is now aligned with the undercarriage and a green symbol can be seen on the display. Both joystick functions are also disengaged, thus avoiding any accidental movements of the digging equipment or slewing circuit whilst travelling. In many countries, it is necessary to have the rotating beacon turned on. Make sure the switch is on before driving out onto public roads. It's now time to stretch your legs. Make it a rule to check all lights, both at the front and rear, not forgetting the indicators and reflectors. Take a walk around the machine to ensure that all doors, hatches and such like are closed. Back in the cab again and it's time to check the mirrors. In normal construction work, mirrors can easily get knocked and be at a completely wrong angle. Make the necessary adjustments before moving out amongst the traffic. Select the high speed gear, the hair. Today the weather is beautiful, but if you've been out in muddy conditions, then do not forget to clean all the tyres before starting your journey on the public highways. This excavator is equipped with a mono boom, which is positioned differently to one with a two-piece boom. Bear in mind the transport height when placing the digging equipment in the travel position. The mono boom requires you to pay greater attention ahead and to your right than one with a two-piece boom when driving on public roads. If the excavator should start to bump on its tyres, then this is an indication that you are driving too fast slow down to gain better control. Keep to the side of the road as much as possible because you are moving slower than the rest of the traffic and check the mirrors frequently to make sure that you are not obstructing the traffic. At junctions always pay a little more attention to your right hand side because the cab is positioned on the left. 